In this GibbsCam Tech Tip, I'm going to show how to save custom interface settings for use in the future, including when you update to a new version of GibbsCam. I'll also show you how to get back to the default GibbsCam interface settings if you ever want to reset. One of the most powerful features in GibbsCam is the ability to customize your toolbars and menus. Being able to adjust the layout of the interface really helps streamline GibbsCam to how you personally use it. You can see that we have a bunch of options here as far as customizing. We can drag these icons and these buttons up to our menus. You can see here, I'm just dragging some stuff. We can actually modify some pull downs. We can take whole menus and drag them and put them on the sides or the bottom of our screen, uh, depending where we would find them the most. Now, once we modify this and everything's great, what I wanna do is I wanna save this layout. I wanna save this not just for future ones you know, in this session, but I want to use this every single time I use GibbsCam and save it so I can reuse it when I have to load another version or maybe reload onto a computer. And it's really easy to do that. We just come up here, we right mouse button click on anywhere on the menu up here on the menu bar. And we can say customize toolbars and menus. So once this pops up, if we look down here in the lower left-hand corner, we can say save customization profile or load. I'm gonna go ahead and save this customization profile. For now, I wanna save this somewhere where it's gonna be really easily accessible. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop and then I'm gonna close this out. That created what's called a CUI file or custom user interface file. I'm gonna show you how to use that in a second. Let's first talk about loading new versions and saving our settings when we do that. I'm gonna check for updates here right now. And I can see that there is one available. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. And then once it loads, I'll be back here in a second to show you the next step. So I fast forwarded a little bit after the new version was installed, I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. Depending on if you're loading a new version or an update, you may automatically get this migration tool pop up. If you don't and you still want to migrate versions, you can open it up through your start menu. The migration tool is a great way to get all of your files over to the new version automatically without having to manually transfer them. I'm gonna go ahead and scan for versions. You can see that here it lists all the versions of GibbsCam that I want to pull all that information from. I know that, you know, I have the old one, which is 14, because I just can't get rid of it. And now we have, you know, the, the latest one that I know it has all my posts, all my machine sim, my settings, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to check compatibility. And here you can see on the left, it's ones that can be migrated. And on the right, there's ones that can't. So. If you, I'm not gonna go through every one of these. If you have questions about these or how to get certain things over, please reach out to us. We'd be really happy to help you out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click do it. And you can see now it's pulling over all of the posts and everything that I need from my last version. Now I'm gonna open up a window of the new version and show you how to import that CUI file that has all of your interface changes in it. Here's the window of the, of the version of GibbsCam that I just loaded. You can see it has the standard interface that loads with GibbsCam. What I'd like to do is load that last one. So I'm gonna follow the same steps. I'm gonna right mouse button click anywhere in the menu area, customize toolbars and menus. Now down here at the bottom left, I'm gonna say load my customization profile. And now you can see it goes to my desktop, there's my custom and I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So now all I have to do is just open up a file, any file, and save it. And it's gonna save this as the default interface for GibbsCam. If you ever wanna get back to the original layout, every seat of GibbsCam comes with preloaded layouts. There's actually three of them. They're a little bit buried, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit load customization profile. And while I do this, I'm going to show the path of where you can find them on your computer on the screen.
Here you can see that we have three different layouts. We have the legacy layout, which will put all of your icons on the right hand side, like GibbsCam was previous to GibbsCam 12. And then here you have a level one and a level two GibbsCam interface. If we just go ahead and load one of those, you can see that it comes back to your standard interface. If you have any questions about customizing your menu, saving it, saving settings, how to get them back, file locations, please give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you.